Hey guys, welcome back. I have another budget Ubers video for you today. It's a Fireclaws Werebear Druid. It's pretty fun, fairly budget, and gets the job done. If you want to skip ahead, there will be timestamps below. Hope you enjoy. First of all, I don't claim to be an expert on a shapeshifting druid. I've learned one or two things, and I hope to give you that knowledge as well. I am pretty experienced when it comes to Ubers, and I was able to make this build work perfectly fine. That being said, this is not supposed to be the end-all, be-all, definitive Fireclaws Ubers guide. There's, there are other gearing options, and if you can make something work, feel free to use it. This is to just get your feet wet and to give you an idea of what kind of gearing options you can expect. First, let's start with stats. Enough strength to equip your gear, obviously. You need 136 dexterity to equip a phase blade. So after you put on a Raven Frost, after you put on the rest of your gear, 136 dexterity should be your goal in this particular build. Everything else goes into vitality. Pretty simple. Next, we'll go to skills. Nothing in the summoning tree. For shapeshifting, here's what I like to do. Max out Lycanthropy. One point in Werewolf and Feral Rage. Those are just prerequisites. Max out Werebear. A point in Maul. And then max out Fireclaws. Everything else gets dumped into Firestorm, Molten Boulder, whatever you have left over. Those are simply damage synergies for Fire Claws. The reason I like to max out Lycanthropy, or however you say that, I'm not actually sure, is simply so that you have a massive health pool when you're a bear. The reason I like to max out Werebear is so that you do a little bit more damage, but also so that you have higher defense. Therefore, you take less damage, or at least you take damage less frequently. Let me put it that way. Feel free to experiment with these as much as you want. Maybe you don't want to max out Lycanthropy and Werebear. Maybe you prefer to fully synergize Fire Claws as much as possible. It's going to be difficult to do because it has a lot of synergies. And honestly, in this build, it's not really all that necessary. For one, you're going to be dealing with quite a few Fire Immunes. For two, most of your damage is going to come from Crushing Blow and Open Wounds, not from Fire Claws itself. Alright, so let's talk gearing options that I've selected for this build. Your weapon is a phase blade with six shale runes in it. The reason for that is a shapeshifting druid gets the majority of their IAS benefit from the weapon itself. So in order to reach those really fast high frame rates for attack speed, you need 110 IAS on a phase blade as a bear or wolf. So what I did was I stuck six shales in a phase blade and I called it good enough. If you have Enhanced damage jewels with IAS on them. Feel free to use those with some combination of shales since you only need 110, you don't need 120. ED jewels with IAS are pretty expensive and rare. I use the shales because it's the budget option. You pretty much need Drax gloves for this build. A lot of my budget Ubers builds, I like to have Life Tap 1 on swap, so I have control over Life Tap, and I would prefer to do that here, honestly. But the reason you cannot is because you cannot cast Life Tap from a wand when you're shapeshifted. So if you wanted to use a wand, what you would have to do is start in human form, put Life Tap on the target using the wand, weapon swap back to your phase blade, transform into werebear form, and then start attacking. It's pretty awkward and cumbersome, as you can see. So get a pair of Drax if you can. I don't know what their value on the realms, but you need them for the chance to cast Life Tap. Everything else is pretty nice on them too, but the real reason is for Life Tap. For rings, get a Raven Frost for Cannot Be Frozen. Get as much attack rating and dexterity as you can find on it, because that will honestly help you out a fair amount. You really need it for Cannot Be Frozen. For the belt, I chose a Night Smoke because for one, it's budget. It's pretty common. And for two, it gives you a little bit of resistances and it gives you damage taken goes to mana, which is pretty helpful against Bale so you don't have to use as many mana potions. You'll see it against Bale. When my mana gets low, I take damage and then it jumps up again. The other ring is an angelic ring with angelic amulet. That's simply a huge attack rating bonus. Boots are gore riders. Mine are up to the elite level, which is kind of a high strength requirement, but on another piece of gear, I had a higher strength requirement, so it wasn't a big deal for me. If you don't need 156 strength elsewhere in your gear, I recommend not upping them. These are upped because I was using them on my Kixen. But the reason you want these boots is for the crushing blow, the deadly strike, the open wounds. They're really amazing boots for melee characters doing ubers. The shield, I really like a sanctuary shield. Hyperion is my preferred base. You could also use a troll's nest or whatever it's called. I like a Hyperion a lot. 
Sanctuary, the reason for this is because of the FHR, the faster block rate, increased chance of blocking, dexterity, but really it's for the all res. It can go up to 70 all res, which is huge. Mine only rolled 57, kind of a bad roll on it, but it's still an amazing shield. If you can't get a Malrune for whatever reason, about to show you other shield options, but you really ought to try to get the Malrune for the Sanctuary. It's an amazing shield. You'll use it all the time in places other than just Ubers, I promise you. Try to make it if you can. Helmet, there's really no other choice. G-Face. Gives you FHR, Crushing Blow, Deadly Strike, Strength. Put an Umrun in it for 15 all res if you have one. It's an amazing helmet. It's pretty much the go-to helmet for melee characters doing Ubers. The rest is your main armor. This is what you're going to be wearing most of the time. FHR, but more importantly, Crushing Blow and Open Wounds. It gives you some resistances also. This is an offensive-minded piece of armor, and this is what I wear when I'm killing all three of the organ bosses, as well as Diablo and Bale. Now, when I'm killing Mephisto, I put on smoke. The reason for the smoke against Mephisto is because he puts Conviction Aura on you, which lowers your resistances 120. Smoke gives you another 50, so that helps out to counteract that quite a bit. The third piece of armor that I use situationally is before I start a fight, I go and I stand in fire with treachery on, and it, it has a 5% chance to proc fade. Level 15 fade gives you 60 all res as well as 15% damage reduction. So it goes a long way in combating that conviction aura when you're fighting Mephisto. It really does. On swap, I use a demon limb for the enchant charge. Enchant, it does give you a little bit more damage, which really isn't a big deal in this build. But the real reason for it is it increases your chance to hit substantially. If you don't have a demon limb, that's okay. It's not a deal breaker. You can still do it without but I recommend having a demon limb if you can get one. They're a little bit rare. They might be kind of high value on the realms. I don't know. But again, if you don't have one, it's not a deal breaker. It just makes it a little bit smoother. I just have an Ancient's Pledge, which honestly a shield on swap is unnecessary because you're not really going to be casting enchant during a fight. But I put it there just in case. You never know what could happen. Really, the primary pieces of gear are what you see here. Feel free to change out the belt as much as you want. If you want to use Goblin Toes instead of Gore Riders for your boots, feel free to do that. Thing is, when you do that, you're going to have less Deadly Strike, which means less damage. You're also going to have less Open Wounds. I do have a torch in my inventory, and my reason for that is I'm making an assumption here that a Fire Claws Werebear Druid is not going to be your first character on a ladder doing Ubers. More than likely, your first character is going to be a Smiter, because it's much easier to do Ubers on a Smiter than any other character. So I'm operating under the assumption here that you're going to do Ubers on a Smiter once and get some sort of torch. And then you can do Ubers on whoever you want. You don't need a Druid torch in your inventory for this character. I'm using it because I have it. And again, because I'm thinking you're going to do Ubers first on a different character. So I don't really consider this to be a very expensive option. Because you could do Ubers on a budget Smiter for extremely cheap. You can see the resistance rolled bad on mine. It's okay. I just have it because it helps. I'm not going to put an Annalise Charm in my inventory, however, even though I have access to them. I'm assuming people on the realms will not have access to them, so it's not in my inventory. Alright, so if you absolutely cannot get a Malrune to make a Sanctuary Shield, here are a couple other shield options. You could use the Ward. This is not an amazing shield, but it does give you some all resistances. Mine rolled 43, which is not bad. If you socket it at Larzic and put a perfect diamond in there, this will actually give me more resistances than my Sanctuary does, which is ridiculous to me because it's a normal level shield. You can up it if you want for more defense, which isn't really a big deal, but if you want to, you can. But that's a pretty budget option. Another one is Girk Sanctuary. This gives you increased chance of blocking and replenish life as well as all res. Once again, if you socket it at Larzuk, put a perfect diamond in there, it'll help out a fair amount. And probably the best option out of these, except for the Sanctuary, is the Mosers. If you can get a Mosers, which, I mean, I don't think they're really that rare, but it is an exceptional level, in other words, a nightmare level shield, so it's probably not going to drop in hell that often, which is where most people farm. But if you can get a Mosers, this is a pretty decent option. It comes socketed, it gives you faster block rate, increased chance of blocking, and it starts with 25 all res. Throw a couple of perfect diamonds in there, and you're actually sitting high and mighty. It's a good shield. It's a good option. I just prefer the Sanctuary. You can use a lightsaber against Mephisto if you want to. The reason for that would be 25% lightning absorb. You'll take a lot less damage. 
really nice option if you want to do it. Lightsabers are kind of rare, so I understand if you don't do it. I also don't do it in this video. You're not going to need it. I stick with the six shield phase blade. Your IAS attack frames will drop a lot when you use the lightsaber compared to the six shield phase blade. So you'll be attacking less frequently, procking crushing blow and open wounds less frequently, procking life tap less frequently, healing up from life tap less frequently, but you'll be taking a little bit less damage from Mephisto because of the 25% lightning absorb. It's kind of a trade off. If you want to experiment with that, feel free to. I just put it in there just in case. I didn't really, I tried it, I didn't really care for it, to be honest with you. I prefer the six shield phase blade. So there you have it. As you can see, the build does work. I did die a couple times against Mephisto, but since I play softcore, that really isn't that big a deal. One of the more important things about Ubers is learning the strategy. Once you've done it a few times, it becomes pretty easy. Get some crushing blows, some open wounds, some all res, and you'll probably be able to do it just fine. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If not, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Be sure to comment, I do try to reply to all comments. If you like this content, please go ahead and hit that sub button, it does help me out a little bit. Feel free to watch me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash beardly357. You can also join my Discord if you'd like, the link is right here. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, take care, and have a great day.